So Brian, let's let's uh, let's let's talk um, uh, about another player at the Senior Bowl. Let let's talk about let's go on the defensive side of the ball and uh, let's talk about Dalen Hayes um, and kind of what you thought of him at practice, uh, how you thought he performed in the game. Um, you know, I saw a few practice reps of him as well. Obviously, Ian Book, uh, you know, did a good job against him in, in a, a a corner route in the end zone when they were working on some red zone stuff. But that was, you know, basically shorts and helmets and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, but a really uh, well thrown, well placed ball. Yeah, right. And there's almost nothing you can do about that, especially when you're a defensive end in coverage. Um, but Dalen Hayes, how did he do uh, in practice the first three days? I think he was a little up and down. I think he had some really impressive snaps. Uh, he obviously had the 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 one pass rush everybody's talking about the first day where he just came off the line and bull rushed a guy and drove him into the ground and and everybody made a big deal about it and and he's you know that's Dalen can do that you know he's yeah, a he's strong big, big strong big kid kid man. strong kid powerful hands his legs his yeah. thighs when they would he's, wear like. Um, they would be basically helmets and shoulder pads, you know, mm-hmm. and they would just wear what looked like football pants, but they were almost like bike shorts, if you will. Mm-hmm. His thighs were like yeah. as big as people's heads. Yeah. I mean, the, the kids got quite the lower body. That, that's yeah. all I want to say about that. Very, very, and that's why he's so good against the run. And we saw yeah. that this week because he can really anchor and set the yes. edge effectively. I thought he did that. I thought he showed a good motor. Uh, I thought he showed quickness off the edge. I think what what Dalen needs to continue to do is, is enhance his repertoire. You know, yeah. it's like he's got kind of two moves as a pass rusher, the power sure. move and then the spin move. And, you know, when he sets the one up correctly, it really works. And he had some reps that really worked. And, and he showed the ability to kind of get around the edge. His sack in the game on Saturday was just beating a guy on the edge. And and so he showed that during the week of practice. He showed toughness, physicality, and he showed versatility. You know, the the third day of practice, he was working as a three, four outside linebacker, which is really where I think he's best suited. Okay. Um, you know, so I thought he had a good week. Again, checks all the character boxes off and, and all sure. that kind of stuff. But, it, you know, again, it was, it was an up and down performance. And one of those things where if I'm a D-line coach, I say, look, this guy's got some tools that I can work with. You know, I just need to. I need to coach him up on secondary moves, enhance his, his his hand play a little bit, and just kind of teach him, you know, hey, you got those two moves, and when they don't work, you don't really have anything else to turn to, right? Because um, he didn't need more than that really at Notre Dame. Uh, I think that's going to help his game. So uh, up and down during the week, but had look. But what you want to do is you want to have those highlight plays that stand out, and he had several. He had several yeah. of those highlight plays that stood out where you're going to say, hey, oh, boy, did you see that guy coming off the edge? Yeah. Let me study him guy. more. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. to your point, Vince, when he's doing that at the size that he is, you know, 6'3 plus, 265, 270, and then you see some of the movements that he can do. Like, wow, this guy's dropping in coverage and covering a wheel route. That's that's. There's not a lot of 270-pounders that can do that. Right. Yeah, no doubt. He made those plays. They're going to make teams say, hey, let's take a deeper look at this guy. And then they're going to dive into his background. Oh, he only played eight games of high school football. Oh, he, you know, he missed, you know, he. this is a still developing play. It may not sound like it because he played four years in Notre Dame. I mean, four, you know, really five because he, he was the full-time player last year before he got hurt. Right. You know, there's still, there's still room to work with a guy like Dalen Hayes. Yeah, there's no question about it. And I... I think that you're right. I think his game is still developing. And I think if he gets the right defensive line coach and the right defensive coordinator in the right situation, I think he could thrive. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the same on the other side. If he gets into a bad situation, he's going to kind of plateau and right. he, he might fall out of things. So uh, I think it's really important for Dalen Hayes to get into the right situation. Um, mm-hmm. But that that's that's evaluation overall. How did he do in the game itself? I thought he, similar to to he was in practice, but flashed okay. a little bit more. I, I think okay. he's even more flat. Like, and I mean that in a good way. Like, we saw more of the flash plays in the yeah. game. Yeah, uh, you, you know, dropped into coverage a couple times, had a sack in the game, so he got around the edge, showed that ability to bend and really dig and get underneath a tackle to get that sack. Um, you know, so I, I thought he, I thought he played well in the game. I thought he had some good moments. It can be hard for linemen in a game like this, too, Vince, because they're constantly rotating in and out. Right. Even right. more so than you would have during the season, you know? And so it can take a little while to kind of get used to the 
you know, the this is the kind of pass sure. set that this guy has. This is where he's vulnerable. Because sure. remember, in the game, they're not going against the guys they've gone against all week in practice. Right. It's like right. a real game. You're going against a guy you've never faced before. And they didn't scout him really either. Right. I mean, right. you're not – you don't really know what you're getting yourself <laughs> into. And on top of that, it's not going to be the same tackle every time either necessarily. Right. You know, because right. they're going to be – You're 100% right. You're 100% yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So, But I thought he did well. I thought he performed okay. well. I thought he had a solid week of practice. I thought he had a better than solid game. So, uh, you know, I, I thought I thought he did some good things. And, again, like you said, you hear all week about his character. You hear people talking during the game on the TV broadcast about his background and his character. And, you know, like a lot of people – saw Dalen involved in, in, you know, Notre Dame's Black Lives Matter rallies and things like that. But Dalen's a kid that has been involved with the community from the moment he got to Notre Dame. You know, he's a kid right. that works. I mean, Vince, you, you work at the lo- at, at, a, at a local high school. You've heard the stories about Dalen with middle school kids and elementary school kids and, and the Christmas programs and all these different things. Like, that's something that's been important to him from the moment he showed up at Notre Dame. And that's right. going to matter, especially in today's era, today's you know, socially conscious era of of, of sure. interactions between professionals and, and the community, you're going to bring a guy like Dalen Hayes in and say, this is a guy that is going to represent our organization incredibly well. And and that's what we talk about this. That's not going to be something that turns a fifth rounder and a first rounder. But when you're sitting there in rounds three through five or six, and you're trying to decide between player A and player B, those are the kind of things that can make a difference between you yep. taking player A or player B. Yep. And so when you combine that with experience, played a lot of games at Notre Dame, when you combine that with the fact that, you know, he has t- the, the physical, natural talent that he has, those things all factor in. And that's why we point those things out, because if you're a GM and you're sitting there and you're saying, OK, talented player had more production than Dalen Hayes. But, you know, was suspended for a year or this, that, you know, there's this concern. And then you have a guy like Dalen Hayes who maybe isn't quite as productive in college as this other kid, but he's got natural tools. He's got size. He's got versatility. He can, he's flexible. He can play for a four down end. He can play as a stand up outside linebacker. And he's this great community guy. Right. Those are the things that can often, you'll take a, you'll take a chance on a first rounder with that attitude because he can be a program changer if you're an NFL team. I don't know if you want to be doing that in rounds three through five, I agree. You, you know, and we've seen like the Browns took that receiver from Florida a few years ago. How'd that turn out? Well, yeah. guess what? He was the same as a professional that he was in college, you right. know? Uh, Cause that's usually how guys are. Sure. We're not talking about a guy that did one, had one bad mistake. We're talking about guys that have a, 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 a history, history of, of character. Well, that goes both ways. You know, if you just show up for the occasional team function in the community, you're not a guy that's part of the community. You're just doing what you have to do. Dalen Hayes did the, what he was supposed to do with the team and then went beyond. He's that, he's like, from an NFL standpoint, he's kind of that Walter Payton Man of the Year award kind of guy. Yeah. Right? I don't think, I, that's, I think over, that's fair. I think, I don't that's, think that's, fair. that's exaggerating. Because he does it because he wants to. Because he wants exactly. to make a difference. He's, exactly. a very, he's a very thoughtful. Again, I don't necessarily agree with all the stances that he takes. But that doesn't matter. I don't have to. Yeah, I, I matter, love right. where his heart is coming from. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, that's the kind of person you can have real dialogue with. That's the Correct. person who actually wants to make a difference, not make a political statement. And that's right. the difference between Dalen Hayes and some other people is he's not trying to make a political statement. He's trying to make a difference in his world. He's trying to dick make a difference in his community. He's trying to make a difference with the people around him. And he can use his platform to do yes. so. Yes, and, yeah. and to do for good. And and it's not always with the social justice. I mean, I'm talking about just you know going to, to the, the rougher parts of South Bend and handing out food and and you know being involved in the christmas programs and going to high schools and you're giving these young people memories that they're never going to forget oh this notre dame player his right. team captain and 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 you know he 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 took an interest in me you, yeah. you know what i mean like those are sure. the kind of stories that you say that's what athletes should be using their platforms for is to make a difference in people's lives and and that's who dalen hayes is and and i you know, we don't talk a lot about that in, uh, on Irish Breakdown because we stick to football. But I think this is the a perfect time to talk about that because that is going to factor in to how he is viewed by NFL teams. Yep. And, you know, and that's again, it, it's the same. I'm getting down to I got you on my team. I'm getting down to cut day, and I got this kid over here, and I got this guy over here. That can be the thing that becomes the final yeah. decision for you know who you keep on your team. So it's it it is it is worth talking about, and sure. and I think it's something that Dalen deserves a lot of praise for. 
Yeah, no question. So, Dalen Hayes, uh, stock up, stock down for you. Stock up uh, for me. Stock yeah. up for me. I think you know. Again, did he did he blow anyone away? No, but did he did he make himself intriguing enough to where I think NFL teams are going to say, hey, let's let's go, let's this kid's on our board. As long as the medicals check out, this is a guy that we want to we want to do more studying on. We okay. want to find more out about because there's going to be teams that don't know about his off the field stuff. They're not going to know he only played eight games of high school football. They're not going to know a lot of these things. But yes. He's a still developing player, but you know Mike Elson brought him along a long way, you know, because yeah. he he showed up with basically just God given ability, and that's yeah, it. Right. Played eight yeah. games of high school football, um, you know. But then they'll see that oh wow, this guy this guy's still a, a bit of a ball of clay, you know. So that's kind of how you stand out this week. Maybe you don't stand out enough to where like oh my gosh, this guy blew me away first round pick, but at least enough to say this guy's now on our board. This is a guy we want to do some more homework on. And I think the more you do homework you do on Dalen Hayes, the better it's going to be for him because there's going to be no red flags other than let's check out the the injury history, let's check out the shoulders and that kind of thing. Good, well, I, that's good news because uh, Dalen Hayes is an easy kid to root for, and yeah. uh, I I know you're rooting for him. I know I'm rooting for him. So I hope that uh, he does rise up on people's draft boards because that that's exciting to me. I think he's a good kid. He's a good player, and I think he's got a bright future. So mm-hmm. Dalen Hayes, stock up which is good good news to hear.